Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Taking them like candy from a baby. Only they're not candy and we're not taking them from a baby. Do you like brachiopods or horn corals? Crinoids? Stay tuned. And we have arrived here in Imperial, Missouri. It is absolutely gorgeous today. 75 degrees, light breeze blowing. It's early May, uh, spring is in the air and fossils are on the ground. So Chase and I are excited. We're gonna check out some of that red Fern Glen Mississippian limestone. Uh, this formation is found in Eastern Missouri and Southeastern Missouri. Lots of bryzoans. Uh, and uh, other, we got some trilobites in there, some crinoids. Uh, just cannot wait to see what we find as we sift through the degraded material as well as looking through the rocks as well. So let's see what's in there. Here's a beautiful view of the famous Fern Glen Formation, Mississippian era rocks that overlook the town of Imperial, Missouri. Lots of small fossils. We got rugose corals some bryozoans all waiting to be found in the rocks and in the decayed sediments at this important site. Let's go see what's here. Again, a lot of these fossils here are gonna be fairly small. Just came across this guy right here. Look at there. So this is a little rugose coral, an anthozoan, right here in the Fern Glen Formation, just inside the city limits of Imperial, Missouri. Looks like maybe a brachiopod right here. Let's see what we got. Nope, there's not a brachiopod. That looks like that is a coral. That looks like a fairly large coral. Wow, that's one of the larger ones that I've seen here. So, that looks like Keeper may want to try to get rid of the uh, host matrix on this one, clean this up a little bit, and see what it looks like. Couldn't ask for a better day today, and looky there. Chase is on the search, going through this eroded red material, this Fern Glen material, finding all kinds of crinoid pieces, rugose coral, be a great place to do some sifting. You can see here's a horn coral going down to the rock. We're looking at the cross section. And uh, then you'll see little ones like this here, little ones like this right here. They're just uh, all throughout the rock and they're weathering out of this red uh, iron rich limestone. Chase is trying to get a little coral out of the rock. Got his goggles on, safety first. Yeah, to be careful. Well, we hiked a little bit east of the parking lot and found this exposed area. Looks like plenty to look through and you can see someone has been here and with a rock saw and has done some serious cutting to extract some large specimen out right there. And you can see up on the wall, you can see plenty of exposed fossils, mainly horn corals. So hopefully some bryozoans on this trip. Hopefully the famous star bryozoan We'll see. I found a nice brachiopod right there in the gray limestone. Gray limestone seems to have quite a few brachiopods and uh, crinoid stems. And looking right over here, look at there, there's a crinoid stem right there and another one right there. Found a great little area that's further east from the parking area. And as I climbed up on the rocks, avoiding the uh, poison ivy that's everywhere, you gotta watch that poison ivy. Look for those three leaves. Remember, leaves of three, avoid me. Um, found an area that tons of crinoids and small uh, rugose corals are eroded out into. And uh, so it's a neat area. Had a little bit of a climb to get here. Uh, wouldn't recommend coming here in the after the late spring or during the summer. I'm sure there's ticks and other critters you don't want, of course, watch out for snakes. They like to lay on the rocks to warm themselves, so uh, always be careful for that. And uh, take home the fossils and not snake bites. You don't want to take home a snake bite. Well, about 15 seconds after that last little piece of video I shot, looked over and looky there. Looks like it's eroded right out. I haven't tried to move it yet. Oh, 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 it's loose. Looky there. Look at that little coral, a little solitary. They have colonial coral, and this is solitary coral. This is solitary. 
So this is what you're finding here. One of the things that you'll find here. And she's beautiful. Little bitty, but a keeper. Chase just did a little hammering and uh, liberated something out. Look at there, look at that. Oh yeah, some nice, nice coral. Still a little matrix there. Clean that dude up, get some uh, iron out, super iron out to dissolve away the iron. Yeah, beautiful. Well, in the last couple of minutes, found a nice little crinoid stem, nice brachiopod, and a sweet little coral. All eroded out of the sediment. Just These are just pickers, no hammer, no chisel, no mining work whatsoever. Just grabbing them like, taking them like candy from a baby. Only they're not candy and we're not taking them from a baby. Look at that guy. Just right there, beautifully preserved in the matrix. Wow. Some nice detail. I mean, a little beat up, but not too bad. And we just had two deer run by us at about 20 miles an hour. Just blew right through the woods here. Startled me a little bit. Deer are better than snakes. Working along this huge bank here. Came down. And uh, do you see it? Do you see it? Look at that juicy nugget. Just completely eroded free. Uh, I mean, it's missing the tip. But wow, that would have been an enormous specimen. Now, that lets me know the bigger ones are here. So we've gone to the east side where we're hoping it's less picked over and so far it seems to be bearing that out. And hoping this is as good as it looks. Just saw this little guy right there. Oh, there we go. Crinoid stem, that's one of the longest ones I found here. Nice white material. Can't wait to clean that one up. See what that looks like. Moved over about 20, 30 feet and uh, saw this guy. Oh, double size there. Not bad, not bad. Little coral, definitely keeper. Well, we've got more evidence that there was something right here in this limestone that somebody wanted. Got out a rock saw, cut out a chunk. You can see other bit of fossils being exposed in the rock here, some crinoid there. So, probably a star bryzoan. Now, those are famous uh, in this area. All right, we've returned to the area directly in front of where you park your cars. And you can see behind me is that cliff and right up here underneath this cliff face, all these things have eroded down. You got a mixture of the gray limestone remains and the red Fern Glen limestone. Lots of crinoids and corals to be found, just uh, eroded out in the sediment, not very large, but uh, they're here for the picking. Well, this might be something worth looking into. Got a couple of corals right there still in the matrix. I bet Chase is gonna break out his hammer pretty soon. All right, so Chase thought he found a huge crinoid. Let's see it, bud. But found out it's just a stick. So it's not a crinoid, it's a crinot. So, sorry, plants fold you again. Because remember, a crinoid is an animal, not a plant. Well, Chase and I both just had a couple of big scores. Look at that. And look at that little guy. Should we had some more size here. All right, I think I see something right in here. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And if we can get that to focus, there we go. Pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. A little bit of size, especially for around here. But they don't seem to grow too large. Looks like some pretty good preservation there. I like to come back when there's not as many plants around and uh, we probably are loaded with ticks too. But no snakes, no snakes, so that's always a plus. All right, we'll see you at the cleanup.
Well, thanks for dropping by Rock Counting USA. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to hit that ring-a-dingy little bell if you want to be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Thanks again.